All right, guys, as you can see, there is a situation happening here in the living room, in the family room, in the kitchen area, in the general living quarters of my apartment here in Los Angeles. I do apologize, but every time I buy a new model car, let it be a 164, a 143, or a 118, which is mainly what I collect, I tell myself, I swear on a stack of Bibles, I always tell myself this, it's the last one, and it never is. Um, as you can tell, it's gone out of control. I have a problem, and I apologize. I will be downsizing the collection very soon, but let's just uh, focus on one model car for today. As you can tell, I'm trying to sort out what is staying, what is going, and of course, got all the model cars lined up right over there as well. But I just picked up this 118 Techno model in mint green with the white interior. Very, very nice, and of course, it's got the matching brake calipers. Not what I really wanted, but this is such a good price, I had to pick it up. This is cheap, locking it down on the Centenario Roadster launch spec. Enough about model cars, let's go look at some real cars. I've got three potential project car ideas that I'm trying to close the deal on, so to speak. Um, I won't say too much until I uh, wire the money over, paying cash, and make sure all is well in the world, because I don't want to jump the gun. I don't want to like give you guys false hope or promises. Whoa, whoa, whoa. before we head to Beverly Hills and meet up with Marcus and Mac, Guys, listen, yes, as the video title implies, I did order the Tesla Cybertruck. You're probably wondering, Espa, what the hell, dude? Like, why are you withholding this kind of information? Yeah, it's only a $100 deposit. Dude, listen, guys, yes, it is a very low barrier cost of entry, but this car looks like a troll car to me. And what do we do best on the Espa channel? We love to troll people. So when this car does come out in its current form or in some sort of refined or updated form, whatever it may be, hopefully they keep the design very similar to what was unveiled. And you're probably wondering, dude, Gordon, why are you such a jabroni? Why are you jumping on the Tesla bandwagon two weeks after the fact that was released and everyone's trying to make videos on this particular thing because it's trending and it's hot and it's kind of edgy and cool on YouTube and it'll garner views. Boom, there it is guys, November 22nd, 11 days ago at 6 p.m. Put in the order, yes, very low cost of entry with a $100 refundable deposit. It doesn't really say anything, but you know me guys, I'm a man of my word and I will have this truck when it's released in around two years time, hopefully in its form as it is right now because I think it's pretty damn funny. Anyways, that being said, let's roll. Los Angeles, the traffic is pretty damn bad here. But if you look a little closer, green 918, right there with temporary tags from New Jersey. The things you find on the 405, my goodness. Guys, old school Mercedes right over here. Check this out. The color is insane. It's got the angel wheels. Look at the flares on the fenders right here. And check out the interior. Hold on, wait for it. Boom. Hard to see, but dude, it is absolutely immaculate, pristine, 100% bonafide original. Or it's been restored, I don't really know. Not bad. This is really, really nice. We just saw a couple of uh, Huracans over there on the other side of the street. Didn't even stop for it. We stopped for this car. So whoever owns this car, very nice. And let me buy your wheels, by the way. Hmm. Good Lord. One more look from the front over here. This thing is awesome, dude. Very nice. Viper with no fucking license plate. Very bold. I've not seen that car before. Sound good. Dude, that sounded awesome. Happy meal way. This guy just fucking pulling U-turns. That the tables are gone, and I just wanted to ask if the tables are gonna be returning or if they're gone for good. Uh, the tables where? The tables on Rodeo Drive that patrons can sit at, the green ones. There were some oh, there were some okay. yellow ones too. Okay, I wouldn't have any of that information. You should probably contact City Hall on Monday to see if they have any plans on, on returning miles, maybe after the holiday season. Understood. Okay, thanks for your help. Okay. Okay, bye. All right, bye-bye. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's sick. Check this out, we just found ourselves a Montana Plata Roof CTR3 Club Sport in green, owned by none other than Porsche Outlaws. Now that is a pretty sick spot. Definitely need some polarization. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not 
bad, not bad. I like it. What's that? Corvette. Here we go. Oh yeah. It's like an olive drab green. We saw this car in, I think I saw in Europe at Villa Deste. Yeah. All right, guys, we got a half ass Tron Aventador, but check this out. Well, hold on, we got Stan's Nation in the house on Rodeo Drive. Look at the camber. Oh, yeah. What is that? I don't know what car that is. Sonata? Okay, Sonata. Max with the facts. The plate said Low Nada on it. Low Nada? No! <laughs> <laughs> Low nada. nada. There it is. They moved Bajon here. I don't like that spot. They oh. lost a prime parking spot prime. on the other side. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Check this out. Low nada. You guys thought we were joking? No, siree. <laughs> oh no. Oh. There she is, guys. The 2008 Toyota Prius with 210,000 miles. This thing is an absolute beast an absolute workhorse and one of the most reliable cars i've ever owned we're here at a brand new dealership in beverly hills we're gonna go around the corner and check it out but dude i think i'm the world's only youtuber that's carless right now because the mercedes s600 is still in transit uh, it's still in japan we're working on the registration but uh yeah here we are jag is gone got no other cars but the prius so let's check out this uh dealership right over here and see what's all about dude this dealership is insane check this out there's another side right over here there's a Vulcan right over there. Let me see if you can zoom in on it. Oh. And a Speedster in green? Look at that. Definitely keep an eye out here. The Marshall Goldman since 1978. You can see exactly how big their inventory is. We're gonna have to stop by here when they fully open up. God damn. Mm. Say a Perto look GTO in white, yeah, 50 plus cars in here easily. They're gonna put everyone out of business here. Good lord, dude. Beverly Hills doing the Christmas holiday season in style. What the heck? these women are on stilts? That's pretty sick. Hold on, let's get a little better angle here. Hold on, here we go. No way. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Dude, the things you see in Beverly Hills. Oh, yeah. We got Mr. Sheep. Oh, it's like a whole circus Carlos. performance here. What the heck, dude? Look at all these cops just blocking <laughs> traffic so the circus performers can go from block to block. Dude, guys, this is insane. So we've been driving up and down Rodeo a couple times. Every time the performers go to one side of the street, they have a police escort to shut down this side of the uh, the road here. I guess in case that the people on the stilts fall down. But here we go. Uh -huh. All right, guys, this is the next day. It's currently a little rainy here in Los Angeles. Uh, we're going to be headed to ACH, uh, Angeles Crest Highway, for a couple photo shoots. But that being said, yesterday, Marcus, Max, and I did go visit one of the cars, one of the potential project cars that are coming to the channel. I don't want to jump the gun yet, so I'm not going to show you any of the footage or really give you guys any hints until the paperwork is completely 100% secure. That's how we do it on the s -Bot channel. We don't really want to make false promises and then renege on them in the future. But on a more positive note, I just got two cars delivered at my doorstep. And as you guessed it, two Volvos for the uh, two final photo shoots of 2019. You're probably wondering, Espa, are these two Volvos part of your clickbaity title? And the answer is absolutely not. I will never do you dirty like that. I will never snake you like that. Hopefully by the next video, guys, I will be able to unveil each car one by one before the year's end. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think is coming to the Espa channel. Like I said, minimum two, Hopefully three cars are coming to the channel by the year's end. It's coming to the s -Bot channel. For the time being, we gotta roll out and do some photos. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> guys, this is the final time I'm going to interrupt this entire video because boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, as I was about to export this damn sequence right over here, just got the call, just got the email, the invoice. I paid the car in cash. We got one car locked down. Two to go, baby, so stay tuned. As you can tell, guys, things are accelerating at an incredibly quick pace here on the s channel. So stay tuned, guys. Make sure to hit the notification bell, subscribe, 
Comment below what you think I just purchased. I'll give you guys one hint. I won't tell you the displacement of the engine. I won't say if it's two or four door car, but it is in Japan. So that being said, let me know what you guys think I just purchased. And there, of course, there are two more project cars in the works. I'm trying to lock the deals on. I'll be personally picking up and taking delivery of the car in Japan in two weeks time after all my errands here and my uh, Volvo photo shoots. That being said, anyways, guys, good news, good news all around. I'll catch you later.